Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I'm back using Heartbeat H.KI. Check it out. Guys, it's a free tool that you can go ahead and take moments and snapshots from your favorite videos. And in this one, I've got a great one for you. Casey Neistat, very popular vlogger. Well, he got the new Apple Vision Pro and he tries it out, but he doesn't do a standard review. Nope, he walks around New York with it on, interacting with people, having some fun, riding the subway as you do, the dystopian future where people are in goggles, yeah, well, it might already be here. So anyways, take a look at this. I've got my favorite 13 or so moments from this video. Check them out, let's go. All right, so here we go. So I am on H.KI, or Heartbeat as we call it, and you'll see here on the left side, I have a few options. I'm gonna click on My Heartbeat, and then I'm going to click on Moments. And I've got a whole bunch of moments, like 400 or something like that. But here are some of the moments that I really enjoyed in Casey's video here. So it starts off at 7 seconds, and then there's 10, 12, maybe 15 moments. Let's go through them. I want to show you my favorite parts from his latest, I guess, on the move re uh, review. Here we go. <laughs> like what? That's Do wild. I look like real... Yeah, I mean, your yes. eyes are close. Your it's too much teeth, I think. I don't know. Um, I want to make a review. Come help me. All right, so there's the first one I really like. That's what it looks like when you're in, uh, when you let the, uh, the thing scan your face. It doesn't come out right. You come out kind of weird looking. So I don't want to start this off with the, this is the greatest piece of tech ever. There are some very clear uh, issues with it. Let's see about him when he's walking around with it. Let's see what kind of looks he gets uh, wearing this uh, futuristic headset. Right. Yeah. <laughs> How do you find it? I had it for like an hour. Yeah, okay. Can you put windows up now? If you want yeah, so like I can put a window up now, but when I start walking, they like go away. So there's the second part I want to show you. Not only is he getting weird looks, but when he starts walking, and he says it right there, the windows go away. So once you start getting some bumps and some shakes, uh, especially even when he's on the subway, the, the windows, they go down. So just keep that in mind. It's not exactly something you can wear snowboarding, at least not yet. Okay, so here we go. Here's Here he is uh, on the subway. Let's check this one out here. Another favorite moment. But later in this video, we're going to a hundred... Island. And also... Super Island. So normally you're just sitting there and when you're waiting for the subway, you're either on your phone, you're reading a book, old school, or now you're watching a Mr. Beast video. And there it is in full high resolution glory. Him just sitting there killing time. Pretty impressive stuff. So here we go. Uh, let's skip forward a little bit here. He talks, here he is, is interacting with other people on the subway with the Apple Vision Pro on his melon. It's interesting. I, I, can't, imagine, I can't imagine why you're looking at uh... I'm looking at you right now. Oh, okay. I can see you clear as day. Yeah. You got on a blue tie with a beautiful tie pin at the top. So I can see you. I get off here. Enjoy your adventure. Bye bye. So you'll see there, he's talking to him and he can see him. So even though the other person can't see what you're seeing, you can literally look right through those glasses and either see the screens you want to see or you can dial it down and see what directly what's in front of you also note the track tracking failed there so um again when it's shaky and bumpy or when you're in uh, rapid motion the windows tend to go down okay so let's take a look here i've got a few more moments that i want to share with you let's go ahead and skip forward to annoying random stopping on stairs watch this So to be fair, he's he's obviously doing a review here and he's showing you it, but there are going this is going to be an issue in the future. In my opinion, people are going to be stopping randomly with their headsets on to do whatever the hell they're going to do worse than their phones uh, because this thing is an immersive experience and you're just going to want to kick this kind of guy down the stairs. So so there you go. Just wanted to show you that. Let's take a look at the entire online world. This is a glimpse into the future and this is his opinion about that. Let's skip forward. I can have my whole like computer digital online world that exists in the real world. That's what that's what feels like is bigger than AR or VR. Like I have the Oculus, it's great, but it definitely feels like a toy. This feels like a little glimpse into the future of what computing could be like down the road. Why 
So there you go. There's his opinion. Uh, like the Oculus and various other VR headsets, they're a toy. This is the future or could be a glimpse into the future. So there you go. You heard it from him there. Again, I'm not sold on it yet. I haven't tried it. But anyways, let's get forward a little bit more. Uh, here he goes and puts on his headset and he wants to get a donut from Krispy Kreme because that's what you do. Yeah! And then let's get forward a little bit more. Watch this. So how strange is that? You got people watching him looking like he's from another planet. And there he is in a Krispy Kreme trying to sort of feed a donut to an imaginary butterfly. The future is going to be weird. Weird as hell. Check this out. After a couple of hours of running around the streets of New York, as in not in a controlled environment, my brain sort of clicked and it just forgot that I was looking through cameras and screens. And it just... Hmm. It, it, took what it saw as reality and that is where this this that's where the that profound moment came from so there you go you heard it from him he eventually he got it seems like he got fully immersed into it and he forgot that he was looking through this set so again this is gen one tech this is first generation stuff who the heck knows what's coming here's my last moment i want to share with you we'll wrap it up is the future of computing that everyone's been promising for like the last 15 years. This is something that like, let me like truly peek into where we're at, where all of this is going. This isn't the, like the future of AR or VR. This is the, I think this is the future interface for all computing. I think when they figure out how to make these not be these heavy $4,000 metal ski goggles, but you know, maybe they look like these glasses or something even smaller that that is what it'll be. In the morning, you won't remember your phone. You put it on, and then that's it. So there you go, guys. That is Casey Neistat. That's his opinion of the first generation Apple uh, Vision Pro, guys. Crazy stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.